Avaya IP Office offers two versions of voicemail. The first version is referred to as Embedded Voicemail. The second version is referred to as Voicemail Pro. Embedded Voicemail does not require any additional hardware. It has a storage capacity of up to 25 hours and includes two voicemail ports. The voicemail ports can be upgraded to a maximum of six with the appropriate license. Voicemail Pro does require a separate server either a Windows-based server or a unified communications module, which is pictured here. The unified communications module is preloaded with a Linux operating system and is inserted into the chassis, as pictured here. Voicemail Pro will support up to 400 hours of storage capacity on a unified communications module or is limited by the size of the hard drive in a Windows-based server. Voicemail Pro has four voicemail ports included, but can be upgraded to a maximum of 40 ports, again with the appropriate license. We'll look at the manager for IP Office here, where we can select what version of voicemail we would like to use. The voicemail type here says embedded voicemail, but providing the appropriate license is installed, when you click that, you can select Voicemail Pro. Once you've done that, the IP address of either the Windows Server or the UC module would be entered here. The differences between Embedded Voicemail and Voicemail Pro are the auto attendant and the interface used in order to manage the systems. We'll start with Embedded Voicemail. Embedded Voicemail, as you'll see on the left here, has an auto attendant module in the manager itself. This is a basic auto attendant module, and if I create a temporary one here, the auto attendant actions are defined here. So for instance, for option one, after an auto attendant greeting was played, if you wanted to send that to an extension, you could change this to transfer and then select the extension for the person that you would want to send option one to. All the recordings can be done either by uploading a WAV file or by using this short code keyed into any phone that's live on this system to record a greeting for that particular auto attendant. Voicemail Pro Client is a utility used to administer Voicemail Pro. If we click on the Users field, this will go to the IP office and get all the information for each user's mailbox. It will show the display name, the extension, as well as the current size of this user's mailbox. Also, it will display the quantity of new, read, and saved greet messages that are on each mailbox. It will also display the last time this particular mailbox was accessed by showing the date and time. If we click on modules, this is where the auto attendant would be programmed in Voicemail Pro. It's worth mentioning that if we go back to this particular IP office, which is embedded voicemail, we have an auto attendant field where we showed that programming earlier. If we go to a system that is voicemail pro, you'll notice the auto attendant field is not displayed because that information is programmed inside of voicemail pro. If we click on this particular module, which is just standard auto attendant module, we can go into menu and then on the second tab for entry prompts, this is where we would record the greeting for this particular auto attendant. Clicking on the plus sign, you see that there are two different ways to record a greeting. You can either do it through a PC with a microphone, or you can select telephony headset, and then any extension that's programmed in that system is where you would be able to do this recording. Just by giving the recording a name, and then hitting record and then if you have it set on telephony headset that phone would ring and all you have to do is follow the prompts in order to record that greeting. It's very similar with PC multimedia again give the recording a name and then hit record and then your PC speaker will just give you the prompts for what you needed to do for that recording. Once that recording is active it will show you the length of the recording 
under touch tones, this is where we make available which options would be for this auto attendant. For instance, for this particular auto attendant, we only have option one, two, six, and zero. Three, four, five, seven, eight, and nine are not selected. So therefore, if that button was pushed during the auto attendant, nothing would happen. The other field is the timeout field, which is currently set to eight seconds. What that means is wherever we define the timeout, which I'll show in a minute, after eight seconds, it will follow that path if none of these buttons are pressed. You can also notice that it doesn't necessarily have to be a digit. It can be a series of digits and or a star code. This is helpful if you needed to do a hidden option inside of your auto attendant, like for some administration and or for other um, announcement recordings and things that you wouldn't want a regular customer or some other people to be able to get into. So if we go back to the main screen, you'll see that those fields that were there, the one, two, and six, zero, show up in here, as well as that timeout. Again, because three, four, five, seven, eight, and nine were unchecked, they do not show inside of this screen. If we click the little line beside option one, this defines what will happen when option one is pushed out of the auto attendant. In this case, it goes to a transfer to extension 6081. Conversely, if we look at option two, option two will actually go to a voicemail campaign. And you can do this with any of the, any of the buttons that are pressed. As I said previously, the star codes, for instance, this is for remote access options. So star 17 out of the auto attendant, even though it wasn't recorded in the greeting, would go to remote access options, which would be where employees could go to check their voicemail, voicemail remotely or things like that. Some of the other things that can be defined in a module are things like an auto attendant night, which is a whole nother auto attendant which be, would be defined for the off hours with its own options as well as with its own greeting. We referred to earlier some admin options where users would actually, you may remember in the auto attendant, we had admin options pointed to a star code so that for things like users being able to set an emergency status or be able to access their voicemail remotely. That's how that would work. As well as things like a conference bridge where this is a moderator assisted conference. Also, if we look at this module called recordings, this is where we could actually go in and record greetings for holidays. And a user, again, with a short code would be able to go in there and record the greetings so that that greeting would automatically play depending on how the date was defined for that particular holiday. This concludes the overview of the voicemail options in IP Office. Please tune in to a later video for another subject, and I thank you for your time.